In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to set up buy and sell commands for weapons, items, etc. in CS2. Before we begin though, we'll need to navigate across to our autoexec config file, which I'll of course show you how to set up here now. This will stop us from typing in the commands every time we fire up the game, and all of our buy-ins should be saved between restarts. For this, head across to Steam and right-click CS2, then Manage and Browse Local Files. Inside of here, head into Game followed by CSGO and the CFG folder here. If you see an autoexec.cfg file, simply open this with any text editor, such as Notepad, Notepad++, etc, etc. If for some reason you don't have an autoexec file here already, or you don't see .cfg after anything, go ahead and on Windows 11, click View followed by Show and make sure file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, you'll see at the ribbon bar at the very top, a View tab and and on the far right, show file extensions and show hidden files. Just make sure both of those are ticked. In order to create an auto exec file, right click anywhere, new, and choose text document. Then we'll call it auto exec.cfg and we'll be deleting the .txt after it. By doing so and confirming it, you'll now have created yourself an auto exec file that we can edit. So let's open it up and inside of here, if you'd like to see that it actually starts up properly, just use the echo command followed by some text like I have here. You'll find these down below just to tell you that your config has been loaded. You can scroll up your console in game and see this just to confirm that everything's loaded in as it should. If you have the CL update rate, interp, etc. from a previous video, these have been removed or at least patched out. You can remove them or leave them, it's your choice. Anyways, for buying and selling commands, what exactly do we do? While the process has changed a little bit, we can't simply use the same binds that we use in CSGO. Instead, because the buy menu has changed completely, there's a brand new system. There's a website you'll find linked in the description down below, cs2bindsgenerator.com. It'll take you across to this page here where we can easily create binds for CS2. Scrolling down, you can see exactly what's changed. Obviously, grenades and equipment are separate, but we have loadout slots now as we can equip pretty much any weapon in any slot. So, if if I were to choose rifles one, or at least choose a key and then rifles one, whenever I press this key, it'll buy whatever's in my rifles one slot. But of course, for you, it could be different. It could be a Galil, AK, or AWP, etc, etc. You'll need to check your in-game buy menu to see exactly what you have on what slot. So for this, I'll fire up CS2, and on the loadout tab at the very top, you'll see exactly what is in what slot for both T and CT. So for example, if I wanted to buy an AWP, I need to go to my rifle section, and one, two, three, four, five, the AWP is over here. So to set up a buy bind for an AWP, I'll head back to the binds generator, unbind this just by clicking it and selecting unbind. Let's make maybe numpad seven, scrolling down to buy an AWP. So rifles five, just like that, hitting seven should buy rifle four because it starts counting at zero. Anyways, you get the point. Just match up this grid here with your in-game grid here and everything should be fine. Obviously, you'll want to make sure that orbs and things like that that are common between T and CT are set to the same slot, such as SSG and SSG here. Otherwise, for Mars and Galil, AK and M4 or M4A1S, etc, etc, just so you can use the same binds for either team. If you have things really mixed up, like a shotgun here and a bison here, when you switch teams, things can get a bit confusing. But anyways, once you've sorted out your in-game buy menu and you understand the grid here, you can simply click a key, then any one of these loadout slots here, and it'll be set up. You can see I've already set up number seven to buy rifles five, but let's say we want a key to buy multiple items. Well, that's very simple. Just click the key once again and scroll down, then choose something else. For example, maybe a smoke. Now, when I press keypad seven, it'll buy a rifle five and a smoke. We can click it to activate it and see exactly what is highlighted. Perfect. In order to unbind this, simply click unbind here and it'll remove everything that we have selected for this key. You can choose it once more to deselect it and continue. So for example, seven is an open smoke. Let's make eight on my numpad for a main rifle, which for me is rifle two. So over here, and I'll maybe buy as well a Molotov, select it once more, and a flashbang. There we go. Now we have three items on keypad eight. Super simple. You can repeat this for any key on your keyboard and of course your mouse as well. Once you're happy with your binds, scroll down a little bit and you'll see autoexec.cfg. Simply either download it here if you'd like to replace the file outright or don't know about file extensions, etc. You can use this to safely create the proper file type. Or you can select all of these here, copy them, and inside of the autoexec config here we have earlier, we can paste it in, save it, and now we're pretty much done. 
but you'll notice the next time we fire up the game, these keybinds aren't actually set just yet. You can manually execute this file by in-game, opening the console using tilde and typing in exec space auto exec as such, and you'll see that it's loaded. This is why I added the echo commands at the very top, just so we know when they are running. If you can't open console, simply head across to settings, game, and make sure enable developer console is selected as yes. And on top of this, on the keyboard and mouse tab, Scrolling down to UI, you can set the toggle console button here. Cool. Let's get this to automatically run whenever we start up our game. In Steam, right click CS2, click properties, and in here, under the general tab, all the way at the very bottom, you'll see here I already have plus exec space auto exec dot CFG. This is all you need to add, and it'll run your auto exec whenever you fire up the game. Perfect. So I'll click play, and if I open up my console, you should see it here, but it seems to have cleared, which is a little bit weird. But anyways, I'll head across to play, followed by maybe deathmatch dust too, or even practice. Eh, deathmatch is good enough. And let's see if these work. Obviously they do, but let's make sure. All right, so picking a team, all we need to do is hit numpad seven. And just like that, we have an op. Numpad eight, it'll buy us an AK as well. Perfect. I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, we can't buy util in deathmatch. But if I were in casual, that would have worked. Play, practice, casual. Using seven, we get a smoke grenade, but we don't have cash for an AWP. Anyways, eight should buy us a molly and a flash and an AK, but obviously I don't have money for that either. So you get the point. Let's say you bought a bunch of items and you want to sell them all. There's two ways of doing it. We can either open up the buy menu and click the back arrow to refund all of our items, or we can sell all of them at once using a special keybind. There isn't a button to sell all, but we can manually add this. Hello there. Okay, so in the description down below, you'll find this command. It's super long, essentially. Alias refund all is set to sell back zero, one, two, three, four, etc., etc., through all of our possible items. This is too long. Through all of our possible items, and at the very end, it'll play a click noise just so we know that it worked. So if you paste this command into your console and hit enter, we've now set the refund all alias. We can type bind space followed by a key, maybe number nine space followed by a refund all. Our brand new command that should sell everything back. Now when I hit number nine, it should sell everything back. So I'll buy all of these. Nine, it made a click, but it didn't sell anything because the time has expired. Let's wait for the next round. There we go. Testing numpad seven buys us an AWP and we didn't have a cash for a smoke. But if we hit number nine, it It'll sell everything back. Using eight, we get an AK, flashbang, and Molotov. Hitting nine, it sells everything again. Just like that, we can very quickly toggle between having a bunch of items and not having a bunch of items. Super useful. Obviously, it'll take some time to set up your keybinds how you like them, but this is definitely worth it. In order to get this sell command to work, whenever we start up our game, we simply need to add it to the end of the auto exec file. So simply add a new line, paste it in, and save the file. Then bind space for by a key, so maybe nine or whatever key, space, refund all as such. Save. Now we've set up not only buy commands using that website, but we've also added a sellback for everything. On top of this, just in case you forget the website, I'd recommend taking the link and simply adding it somewhere here, loading by config from just like that. Now we'll have a link so we can head back to the same website whenever we want to change these binds over here, just to help us remember exactly what is what. Sweet. So now not only have we set up buy commands, but we've also set up sell commands to sell all of our items in one go. It's very useful, especially when you go through collecting all of your items and one of your teammates shouts save. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.